Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain metamers. So it is defined as the structural isomers having different nature of carbon chains or different number of carbon atom on either side of polyvalent functional group are called metamers. So condition for metamers are functional group must be polyvalent and nature of carbon chain or number of carbon chain either side of polyvalent functional group must be different. So let us say functional group which will show metamers and the functional group which will not show metamers. So thioether ether, ester, ketone, anhydride, 2 degree and 3 degree amide, N or N dash amide will show metamers because all are polyvalent functional group. It has two valency, it has also two valency. All have polyvalency. Therefore, all of these will show metamers. Fine. Here, alcohol, acid, aldehyde, amine, amide, thiol, nitride, and acid halide will not show metamers because all are monovalent functional group. So, polyvalent functional group will show metamers, monovalent functional group will not show metamers. The famous questions are the minimum number of carbon atom is required to show the metamers by ether by the ester or ketone or anhydride or amide or amine and the other question is draw the total number of possible metamers so let us say some examples now we are going to study the metamers in case of ether so, in ether, so first question is the minimum number of carbon atom required to show metamorphs by ether. So, let us see here if there are only two carbon atoms, then we can't change the nature of carbon atom on both sides. If there are three carbon atom, then also we can't change the nature. If we bring the, this carbon from this side, then also the number of nature of carbon chain will not change both sides. But number of carbon atom will also not change. So if we have three carbon atom, from one side and one from other side then it will show meta isomers so minimum carbon required to show meta isomers by ether is 4 so the minimum carbon atoms required to show meta isomers by the ether is 4 so now let us draw the meta isomers total number of meta isomers so minimum carbon required is Minimum carbon atom required for so meta isomers is 4. So let us draw different meta isomers. So this will be the one meta isomers. Now we are going to change the nature of the chain on the either side of the carbon atom. So we change the nature. And other is C double bond C. So there are three meta isomers of the ether. The name of this compound will be methoxy propane. The name of this compound will be. Me 
Mithakshi. To Mithakshi. Profane. Name of this compound will be Ethopshi Ethane. So, all are the IPC name of given structure. So, the minimum number of carbon atom required for ether to show metamers is 4, and the total number of metamers will be 3. So, here Number of carbon atom is 3, here 1. In second, let us consider this is A and this is B, this is C. So, so number of carbon atom one side is 3, another side is 1. While in B, the number of carbon atom is same, 3, another side is 1. But the nature of carbon chain is changed. And here also, the number of carbon atom is changed both sides. Here is 2 and here is 2. So A and B is also meta isomers. A and C is also meta isomers. B and C both are also meta isomers. Here, let us consider A and B. So A and B, one side is one carbon atom and uh, other side is three carbon atom. But the nature of the carbon chain is changed. Therefore, it is called all meta isomers. You can also say it will be the position isomers. But position isomers is ignored in case of meta isomers. Meta isomers have higher priority compared to position isomers. So it will be not considered as a position isomers. It will be meta isomers. Here C and A. So here is two carbon atoms on both sides and here one side three and one side one. Therefore A and C will be the meta isomers. B and C will be also meta isomers because here is three carbon. One side is one here one side two and one side two. So B and C also considered as a meta isomers let us see another example let us consider an example on anhydride anhydride so the functional group will be this so first question is minimum number of carbon is required to show meta isomers will be let us consider three carbon atom. So take here hydrogen. And here also hydrogen. So if we change the carbon atom, then molecule will remain the same. Therefore, three carbon atoms are not sufficient to show meta isomers. So now you change. You add one more carbon atom. So this will show meta isomers because if you change it will give here hydrogen atom so the nature of carbon chain is changed both sides nature of carbon atom and number of carbon atom both are changed on both sides therefore this will show meta isomers and number of meta isomers will be two the name of the given compound is so they are symmetrical and they are Two carbon atom, therefore, ethanoic anhydride, and the name of this will be so one one carbon other side of three carbon, so methanoic propanoic anhydride. So, minimum number of carbon is required to show meta isomers will be 4 and the total number of isomers will be 2. Thank you for watching my video.